Alright, let's continue right where we left off. The only reason I'm on the loading screen is for some reason, the second I'm loading in, I just go to the boat. So, alright, here we go. Oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail to Y, okay? <clears throat> press the same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The up that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use the analog to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into your sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Do you understand all that? Yeah. Alright, one more thing. When you're out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place you should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press um, the stick and the buttons to open the chart and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let us carry us to the east. Okay, so I'm not sure right when I loaded in why it took me straight to that dialogue because I thought I remember saving out here. Um, but I'm not done with this place yet. I thought. Give me something. Ah, there it is. Little joy pendant. Yeah, I swear we got one of these from uh, one of the little goblinos, but... I don't know. What do I know? Yo, bud, looks like you find yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up there in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Murray's birthday soon, so we're thinking of giving her a present. So it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. But well, we can't be giving, uh, going around giving presents to people. No way. That don't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud. Can't you give it to Teach for us, can't you? And it's not like we could just ask just anybody to do it for us, neither. It's got to be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask. Alright. I feel like that, like... When you give a present, don't you want them to know it was from you? I mean... These boys are showing, like... What's, what's like the word when you do kind things without people knowing and you don't care about people knowing you're just doing kind things because you like doing kind things see the, these little boys were you know portrayed as mean people these kids are so nice they're giving out presents and they don't even care that they're getting credit absolute gentlemen and scholars I tell you what can I do for you on this fine day when it comes down to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you'll grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Yo, I got a... Uh... Here we go. Here. Here. Oh, dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that's why... Wait, what about children? That is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Ah, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. Only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Ooh, another rupee. Only 20 this time, though. Alright. And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Alright. Hey, 20 rupees is 20 rupees that we could probably spend on, says. <laughs> oh my god, do I really go to Sploosh Kaboom already? Am I that big of a degenerate? The answer is yes. But, okay, we won't spend all of our money on Sploosh Kaboom like we did the other time. We'll just spend a little bit of our money. I just... Oh, this is someone different. This is the cartographer. Hmm. I would have to say that I've never seen your face before, have I? Hmm. Intriguing, but... I don't even know that word. Holy. I know you're just a small child, but I found... Found one can rarely trust... Okay, gee, English. But I found one can rarely trust strangers. Where is it you've come from, young sir? I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary. Once long ago, I rented a room out to a traveler for, for a single night. The next dawn, my precious Picto box was stolen. Tell me, young sir, why are good deeds so often repaid with cruelty? I spread kindness where I can, and still my box does not come back to me. It is a sad thing. 
You may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy and be gone. Shoo shoo. Oh. Okay. So, someone wronged me in the past, therefore you must go away. Alright. That doesn't seem very fair to me, but... Okie dokie. Alright, where's Sploosh Kaboom? I want Sploosh Kaboom. I want to wait. Wait, oh. I heard about this from my dad. A while back, the thief stole a Picto box, and he once held in the town jail for a long, long time. Yeah, real long. The thief managed to get free after a while, but the box he stole was never found. Maybe it's still hidden somewhere in the jail cell, don't you think? Give me a break. How stupid would that be? Alright, a hint on where the Picto box is. Oh, oh this is Sploosh Kaboom. Alright, hey, hey big guy. I want a Sploosh and Kaboom. Alright, maybe we'll just play like two or three games. That's it. Alright, we know all this. Alright. Here we go. And I'm not going to use my strategy from before, because clearly it didn't work. You make me very angry. I have given him way too much money. All the money, reward money from all of those children quests has been spent on Sploosh Kaboom. Hey man, you know, wind power ferris wheel. Okay, well, I know what we're gonna probably do with that. Do with that later. Why well, wasn't one of the children hiding up here? It would have been a good spot. Alright, I need to find... Ooh. Um, I need to go to the jail cell. I don't know where that jail cell is, though. Wait, wait, I saw... Ooh, no, that's where I met Tinkle. Boom. Is this the jail? I think this might be the jail. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, no. Oh, we have not been in here yet. It's Potion Homie. Hello, hello. You're standing in one of the only, and the one and only, Chew Jelly Juice Shop. Must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. What's, what's, it's Chew Jelly, you ask. Looking somewhat bewildered. Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself, good sir, what is robustly nourishing, what is a ro robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why? It is the key ingredient and the most effective potion around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. What, what begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? No. I wish... If I had an empty bottle, though, I'd go home to Graham Graham and get a bottle of soup, not your disgusting chew jelly, you heathen. Oh, it's obviously in here. Oh, yeah. Siddle. Oh, I need to crouch, don't I? Yep. I feel like this is a really obvious box, man. Um, 
There's rats in here, isn't there? I don't know where I'm going. But I think I've managed to get it in the right direction. Oh, that's a bad spot to go! I... I knew when turning into it, I'm like, that looks like a trap door. I have made a mistake. Hey, good sir. One second, I'll be right back. Alright, I think we've managed to follow the same route. So that's the... We went to the left right then. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a mouse over there. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's a blue... A blue Ruperino. I want that. Gib. Hmm. Another blue. There's a mouse in this direction. Oh, another blue rupee. <laughs> Come over here. I need you. I spent all my money on sploosh kaboom. Alright, so not that way. Yeah, I want the roop. <gasps> hey yo! No no no! Forward, forward. It's the picto box. Oh, there's dead people died in here? This is not very child friendly. Ah. Picto box. Very cool. Alright, let's go back to Pictographer Man. Do these say anything important by chance? I have succeeded in stealing the Picto box I have desired for so long. But sadly, due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I've been imprisoned and I but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. I have decided to hide it in here in the depths of my cell and then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes. That is my plan. Oh, he probably got eaten up by rats. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto box. I will write the controls for it in case I should forget them. Um, okay. Yeah, the guy, the guy is definitely dead. Look at these skulls, bro. This is probably his and I just smashed it. Ultimate disrespect. But, then again, he should have gotten good. <gasps> Yo, that's a gold one. Oh, that gold was like two ruples. Okay, well, that's kind of boo-boo, but it's alright. But I think... Oh, wait, wait, no. I was going to say, officially, I think we can get out of here. But um, now that I think about it, I do have to return this to the cartographer. So, I actually can't leave just yet. Although, I, let me run into the rat because I just... I want to get out of the crawl space. And I honestly think getting out of this crawl space by dropping is probably faster than walking around the whole tunnel trying to find my way out. Excuse me, little girls. Excuse me, old man. I'm gonna have to juke him out again or he's gonna go ba bing And then I'll be in trouble. Alright. Oh, emo guy. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Well, now he wants me to do something. I want you to show me a picture of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of. Round pale. Wait, okay, so I need to show him a picture? Round pale thing. Well, I'm either thinking of someone's bald head or like an orb. So it's either a bald man or some form of orb. That's what I'm got in my noodle. Oh, sploosh. One. I, I got one more game in me. Uh, all right, one more game. One more game. Please, for the love of Christ, give me. Just let me win. Let me win. Oh my God. There's the two. Oh my God. Splish, 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 
Splish, splish, splish. Come on. Splish, splish, splish. Come on, please. Splish. Kaboom. We. Kaboom. Oh my. Kaboom. We finally did it. Oh, I'm so glad I came back in. Excellent, sailor. You, <laughs> you've successfully protected the peace on this fair island. You are so very proud the children on the island would like to thank you sailor Hooray! Yay! <laughs> okay oh thank you mr sailor please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude you are so great let's go dude i can stop gambling at this shop <laughs> so thanks for playing and all that i can tell you how fun it's been for me oh don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door bro that man probably took around a hundred rupees no more than a hundred rupees of my money in total for that heart but we finally finally did it ah, i'm just glad we were able to do it before we left the island because man it was stressing me out i was getting a little sad why young sir i must say you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there are you a lover of pictographs as well there can be no villain amongst the ranks of a pic of the picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. I, mean, I don't really know what I'm looking around at, but uh Ooh, paintings. Oh, I know half those places. There's some there's some jellies. The uh, there's the dragon roost. There's the ghost ship. Oh ho ho, aren't those some finely snapped pictographs, you must admit. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. Nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. So these are some jellies. Well, those creatures are called choo-choos. They are said to have medicinal properties, so they are the most important resources treasured by sailors the world over. Why, there is, there is even said to be an extremely rare species of them known as the blue choo-choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that they are ever sighted. You would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. This is one of the most... This is one of the tiny rock islets resting far out in the sea southern. Isn't it nice? There was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his photo without even thinking. That aside, I am certain there's, this is someone's private cabana. Yeah. Um, I saw this strange platform rising up out of the sea, seeming to claw at the sky. It makes for an even stranger silhouette. I wonder if such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, if only I had the chance. This is a pictograph of a place I once visited. Isn't it a fine, lovely snapshot? I took it in my younger days. It is Outset Island. It is most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich with nature's bounty. Oh, he met a beautiful lass. Although I suppose she is probably not as young as she used to be these days. If we find a girl on that island, she there's probably some dialogue about him. Um... One ill-fated day, misfortune befell me and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted at the whim of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. This follow ship veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis none other than a ghost ship. The rumors I've heard tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and that he drew a map of its movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died a most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. Now, if one were able to find that map, then it ought to be possible to sneak onto the ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to lurk within its hull. Alright. Oh, there's two more. It is a uh, mysterious statue. The statue's home is on one of the Triangle Islands that is south of here. There are a total of three. The northern, southern, eastern, each of them has a statue. Okay. And the place. 
Forsaken Fortress. This place lies to the northwest of our fair isle, but it has been enveloped in filthy cl dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay as far away from that place as possible. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies and oh whatever okay so evil things bad things happen there is there any th i think that's probably all the whoa there's a creepy cr there's a crawly space right there i don't know if i can do anything with it now hey do you mind if i do this yeet Okay, so I don't know what to do with it now, but... Hey man, can I have that potion next to you? My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible photograph capabilities at the long last nearing fruition. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you perhaps become a research assistant? Oh, really, really, and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm, but I... I feel I must tell you, the path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever takes on role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly com complete it without hesitation. It will be quite a challenge. I assure you, are you still sure you want to do this? You must share my love of pictograph. What is your name? Yeah, Link, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you on the... Oh, on the dawn of the day, you complete all three tasks. You shall be my number one assistant, Link. Now then, for my first command, love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love, long, unspoken, and put in a written form. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is quite a... Quen okay, I am of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus, your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. It sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. I actually don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I might do that at some other point. Well, I, I just, like, I have the Picto box now, right? It's like my... Okay, so it's in my possession. Alright. Uh, nope. This, this one. I can go... Click, clink. Okay. Um, alright. Me thinks that I should probably... Should we get out of here for now? I feel like we've been at this island for a long time, and we've done a lot of things. I don't want to do everything on the island all at once, I guess. So, let's get moving. Let's actually get started. Okay, so we do this. Whoops, we have to get the sail out, don't we? So, we put the sail... Uh, no, let's put it on here. We go, yeet. So the the wind is pushing us this way. So if we put our sail against the wind, that's when we can go fastest. Now, we can check our map using this. And this is where we're going to go right now. So. All right, let's do that. And I think I know where we're going. We're going to probably my favorite island of the entire game. Like, my favorite people, my favorite, like, habitat, my favorite boss. I just, I love this island that's coming up, so I'm very excited for this. Ooh. What in the world are those? I, like, jump them or something? I don't know how to, oh, I can jump? Okay. Oh, do I get to beat these guys up? A little Ruku? Yeet. Can I beat this guy up? Oh. What in the world are these guys doing? Oh, does this just, like, block me? Alright. Well, I, I, I want to know what's going on with all this stuff, so... 
You mind if I get out of the boat? I want to see what's going on here. What are you goblins doing here? And is that Beetle? Might have to go visit Beetle in a second. This is a really cool ocean, by the way. Hey, man. Ooh, I don't even have my sword out. What are you guys doing, huh? Man, I didn't really want to kick him off of the thing in case he dropped something. No! Why do they always disappear? It's okay, though. You got a chest from it. No! Okay, jeez, Link. Finally gets a reward, he's just like, jump? Come on, man, chill out. Hey, Rupee. Very cool. And at least we now won't spend it on Sploosh Kaboom. Right, we can probably just drop here. Alright. Beetle, is that you? Bop. Oh yeah, it is Beetle. Alright, please do not sail away or we're gonna have a problem. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, yes, it is Seaman, but I want to check out Beetle. He is my best friend and I haven't said hi to him yet. Oh. Um, do you have anything? I'll pay you top rupee, whatever. Do you Okay. Okay. Beat bag and Oh, 100%. Give this to me. 20? Yeah. We're going to need we're, we will need to buy this at some point no matter what. So yeah, give me that bait bag. 8 pouches for storing bait. Cool. Yeah, we're going to need that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. You try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, just use the blah, blah. Okay, so this is just more bait now, right? Um... Let's buy this bait. You know what? Maybe we'll buy all of the bait. Um, choose your bait. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's buy all. Let's buy one of each. I don't know if there'll be a mission where I need either of these, but how about we just buy one of both? So if it happens, we just have it, and we don't have to go on like another Thank side quest you. to like you know find it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Alright, so we got the bait bag along with a little bit of both baits. Yep. yep. Ooh, that was actually nasty. Alright, I think this is the way we're supposed to be headed. Ayo. Rupal. I want to beat up those guys, but I don't think I need to. I think the main treasure was on that like lifted area. I don't think I need to beat up the guys on the platforms. Yeet. Oh, hey, Seagull. How you doing? Bono. Bum, 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 bum. Bono. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Thanks for watching. How's it going, everyone? We're going to continue some Wind Waker here. There, on the horizon. This is our destination link. Dragon Roost Island. My favorite place in the whole world. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies. A great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. And, oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods 
but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in three-fourth time. Do not touch. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting. Oh, I don't know which one that is. Guess we'll figure it out. Up, down, right. It's because I have my controls inverted. Okay, here we go. I have my controls inverted due to the camera. That's why I wasn't making sense. Very nice. That's that was splendid. Next next is 4-4 time. Um Okay. Okay, I can do that. Easy. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting it to the right. Okay. You received the legendary Wind Waker by using this magical conducting conductor's baton. You can borrow the power of the gods. Okay. That can change the, the, the wind. Which, considering most of this map is water that was probably going to become very useful very quickly <laughs> 